Okay, this is a question about uh, a bridge, and they're saying that an object is uh, dropped from this bridge, which has um, into the water, and the height of the bridge is 576 feet, and the function of the height is given by 576 minus 16 t square, and they're asking you to find out the average rate of the height with respect to time when time is zero between t is equals to zero and t is equals to two and the second part is the time is zero and the time is four and in part b they're asking you that how long will it take to the for the object to hit the water so we need to find out the what the time when it hit the water that means when height is zero so the first thing we have to do is find out the average rate of change of the height uh, with respect to the time given as this one and this one. So for the first one, A part 1, we have to find out the time, the height at T1, which is 0, and you have to replace uh, T by 0 in this function. So 576 minus 16 into 0 square, that gives us 576. And then we have to put the same, uh, replace the time T, with 2, which gives us uh, 576 minus 16 into 2 whole square, and 576 minus 64, which gives us 512. So the average rate of change would be uh, substituting these values, which uh, I wrote wrong. So the first one, the H2, is 512, and minus 576. So we can subtract that and divide it by 2. So this is 512 minus 576 divided by 2 minus 0. And if you subtract that, it gives us minus 64 over 2. And if you divide this by 2, that gives us minus 28. So that gives us uh, minus 28, 3, 32. And the negative sign shows that the the object is falling down towards the water. Now, similarly for the second part, we have T1 is equal to 0 and T2 is equal to 4. So T1 would be exactly the same. For T2, we have to replace uh, the T2 value by 4. So replace the T by 4 and calculate this thing. This gives us 320. Now substitute these two values in this um, formula of average rate of change of height. So that is 320 minus 576 divided by 4 minus 0. That gives us minus 256 divided by 4, which is minus 64. And again, the negative sign is due to the, the motion in the direction towards the water. So now the second part says, how long will it take to hit the water? So it means the height is zero. That is, h of t is zero. So we put here t zero and this formula. Take the minus 16 t square to the other side and now divide both sides by 16 squares. So this would gives us 16 into 36 is this, or you can calculate, divide the by numbers. So this by four would gives us uh, four and this by 4 would give us uh, 4 1s are 4, uh, 4 4 16, and then 4 4 16, and then 4 into this gives us 36. So that is 36 taking the square root, t gives us plus minus, uh, plus minus 6. So time cannot be negative, that's why we have the time is 6. So it takes 6 minutes from the bridge to hit the water. Thank you very much.